Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Football Manager 20, the beta release. We are playing with Real Madrid, and this is episode number seven. So I, uh, starting off, uh, we beat, uh, we drew with Levante nil nil. Very disappointed. Uh, beat Atletico Bilbao. Gareth Bale with a brace. Uh, three to one victory. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I got somebody talking trade talk uh, on on my. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> and I went ahead and recorded the Napoli episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing at his comments. Um, we, be I recorded the Napoli episode. But as I mentioned last uh, last episode, after the three one first leg win, if it wasn't close, I would delete it and just move on. Uh, so we won 2-0. Um, Sergio Ramos, Alex Tellez, both goals coming from our back line. And 5-1 uh, on aggregate to advance. We made, I think it was $11.1 .1 million. Uh, doesn't help us because we're six figures in the red. Uh, we beat Villarreal 3-1. Modric, Varane, and Bale with goals. Atletico Pamplona beat us 2-1. Uh, Sergio Ramos, our captain, thanks, cap, uh, got sent off with a straight red in the eighth minute, and uh, they scored a few minutes later. And then they got a late uh, winner uh, after Luka Jovic scored for us. Uh, we beat Mallorca 1-0, Jovic with another goal. But we're struggling because they had two players sent off, and we did not dominate this match uh, at all. And then Alaves, we were comfortable favorites, and we lost. Um, so we're we're kind of in a bad run of form. After the loss to Pamplona, I actually uh, was given an inquest. Uh, I wasn't called to the board, but but I got an email that you know I was under fire. So I may not make it to the end of the season. We'll see. But we are back. Uh, we drew Tottenham in the uh, Champions Cup quarterfinals. So today we're going to play both legs uh, around the Vigo match, which I'll do off camera. So let's get to it. The Tom T Derby. Uh, we are favorites. Breezy. We're playing in Madrid. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's ugly. And we are... Nacho's unregistered. Militao is suspended. Uh, hold on. We're going to add him. And yeah, Hazard is suspended. Uh, I'm sorry, injured. Olmo is injured. Militao is suspended. All right, so we're going to bring Ramos back to the back line and then we're going to go cruise there and where is uh yeah luka modric and you're going to start buddy i understand they're under 90 percent. that's why the game is doing that i have it set at a 90 percent threshold but by god this is tottenham this is the champions cup quarterfinals no nobody gets to rest <laughs> and we're going to have a full bench Good deal. Um, Gareth Bale. Nope, you're in. I'm bringing you in for Greenwood. I promised to rest him for a week. I lied. I rested him for six days. God created the universe in six days. Rested on the seventh. Bale rests for six days, and he rocks the world on the seventh. Hopefully. That's the plan. All right, let's get to it. Carvajal, Vinicius Jr. Uh, Vinicius has been playing a lot with Hazard being injured. He's been out for a while, and he'll continue to be out for a while. Let's see, Harry Kane, 30 goals in 43 appearances. That, that doesn't suck, fellas. We've got 14 in 27 and 20 in 35. 19 and 35. Deli Ali. 
I'm just trying to see who who I even recognize. I recognize though I recognize Allie and Kane. I've seen that guy's name. Um Erickson, yeah. Sanchez, I believe. I know. And Yoris. Is it Yoris? I think that's pronounced right. Tom, let me know. Uh Tom, of course, one of my longtime subscribers. Uh, so that's why I called it the Tom T. Derby. He is a Tottenham fan. Hopefully, we can uh, take it to him here. But we're not looking good. We're not looking good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the cheat code here and uh, try to give him some extra greenage, which doesn't appear to have worked. Get creative. All right, Vinicius Jr. with the early shot. Four shots, three on target to get started. Oh, pounced on by Tellez. That was nice. A uh, nice little drop ball into the corner. Laid back to Tellez. Vuvecic. Oh, there it is. That's a goal. Yes, Gareth Bale, number 21. Jovic with the assist. The winger and the striker pairing up for a 1-0 lead. Oh, that's brilliant. That was a nice drop back pass. And I tell you what, I am really happy. Oh, look at the chest down. But Vuvecic, I have been very happy with signing him this year. Gee whiz, he has played really well, in my opinion. He's got to be signing of the season, mainly because we didn't have very many signings, right? All right, headed out, tell us. All right, lumped over into space to bail. Oh, no, Walker Peters pounces on the errant pass. Sesegnan, Ses I don't know. Oh, my God. Off of the upright, a little bit of woodwork action, good clearance. All right, tell us. Nope, lost it. You know, I watch it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, flipped over the bar by the keeper. Coutois with a nice save. All right, headed out. Ooh. Please don't card him. All right, no card. Dangerous set piece, though. Oh, oh my God! What another! What a secondary save by Courtois! Oh, that was beautiful, beautiful goalkeeping. I'm gonna give him some praise here. Harry Kane picks up a yellow. I really like Harry Kane, man. He's a good player. I should watch. I should watch more Premier League. You guys know I'm a Leeds fan. I've mentioned that several times uh, already in this in this series. But uh, I don't really watch a lot of Premier. And I think the reason is is because I want to be able to continue to hate these clubs if and when Leeds ever go up. PSG's over Bayern, 2-0. So look, uh, Mbappe and Benzema. <sighs> Benzema's the guy we've got out on loan to them. I wonder if he won't be able to play against us if we both make it. That'll be interesting. Encourage... Play it calm. Um, but, you know, if we, you know, because if I start watching a club and then I start seeing players that I like, I may actually start becoming a fan of that team. And, of course, if Leeds goes up, I'll always be a Leeds fan. I want to be able to hate these other clubs. Whereas right now, I really don't give a damn about any of them. Even, even like Man United, I, I just can't be bothered. And I know, let's make a sub. I know that they are rivals with Leeds. I know there's a lot of animosity between Leeds and Man United. Because I wasn't brought up in England or on European football, um, I don't have that. I don't have that uh, in my in my arsenal. I don't. I don't have a hatred there. So eh, you know, uh, Modric. Let's bring in. Uh, let's bring in Cruz. Uh, tell us for Mindy. All right, 
then I want to go into tactics here. All right, no, they're already in a deep end. I didn't have them on. Maybe, maybe that's our problem. Remember I had changed that, like, last episode? It looks like it saved it. I haven't even noticed that in my other... In my, in, you know, in my playing. Uh, defending and attacking. I think Rodriguez is... Eh, not really. Six marking, seven tackling. God, those guys suck. <laughs> there is no defense in our midfield. It's all Vuvecic. All right, confirm. All right, boys. So I'm gambling by putting it back on the attack, right? Oh, there we go. Jovic, yes. Was he off sides? Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Yeah. He got the header and he was offside. My God. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Uh, where's the ball? I don't see the ball. There's the ball there. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's make a sub. Uh, Vinicius Jr. Let's put Vasquez out there for Vinicius Jr. Oh, come on. Uh, let me give him a tighten up shout. Oh, good save. Clear it out. Good job. They're frustrated because I said tighten up. I'll be happy. I'll be happy with a 2 0 win <laughs> if we can put one in here. Ramos, Cruz. God, Cruz just does not look comfortable with the ball. And he should. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Look at the runners. Holy crap. Who was that? Oh, Varon. He got that crossing. He got that cross and headed it out. Oh, my God. That could have just went so bad. There was a wall of freaking blue there. Jesus. All right. He got screwed over. And here comes the run. Look at this. One, two, three, seven players coming forward. And we've only got five back. <laughs> Oh, whoo, whoo, <laughs> thank God he shot that wide. That should be enough to see us out. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. Whoo, one nil. Gareth Bale, 21-18, pretty balanced game. Very, very good match. Uh, two overall chances, yeah, they did not... They did not finish well, which is uh, well done, guys. That was a good win for us. All right, so PSG wins 2-0. We win 1-0. So we're going to come back. Uh, for the next Tottenham match, so I'm going to play Vigo off camera. So we'll see you guys back here. In just a minute. All right, we are back. Uh, Eden Hazard has failed his fitness test, so he is not ready to come back just yet. Uh, we did beat Vigo 3-0 thanks to a Tony Cruz hat trick, including uh, a goal and a penalty scored in a one-minute span. Taking a look at competitions, we are sitting third, five points behind Madrid. That was... Uh, and I think that's the best we're going to finish because that we lost to them. So that, that, that opened up a three-point additional advantage. Uh, we were two points behind. Now we're five. So, yeah, I think we've screwed the pooch. And we're going to finish in third.
Uh, we have qualified for Euro Cup. Uh, we are a few, well, let's, I don't know. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six more matches. Uh, so I don't know what's Champions League is what. Oh, there we go. Um, this is all different right here. So, Champions Cup group stage. So, top four are Champions League. Yep, that'll be good. All right, well, let's get to today. All right, Bayern at home against PSG. They're facing a 2-0. Uh, oh, not <laughs> check this email out. No, not that one. Oh, here we go. Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro and Cajun go head-to-head -head like I'm going to be out on the pitch facing this guy. Uh, <laughs> not much love lost between the elite midfielder and head coach Cajun. Whatever. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a whiny bitch is what he is. That's not in real life. I don't know the guy. He's Brazilian. He could be again. Nothing against Brazilians. I, you know, Pele is my favorite player, and I love the Brazilian national team. Third, uh, second or third favorite team, uh, international play depends uh, behind the U.S. and uh, England, right there with England. Um, but. Yeah, he just came in. He wanted a trade. He wanted to get moved as soon as I got the job. So it was like, you know, what a jerk, not even giving me a chance. So that's what I mean by being a jerk. All right, let's get to the match preview. We are favorites, sold out, Hotspur Stadium. I did play, I played a 4-4-2. And, you know, we actually did pretty good there. Oh, Ancinio, uh, Ancinio, not Ancinio, Ancinio, uh, he's back from injury. He finally had some fitness. We just gave him his first match. He played a 6.9. Unfortunately, he's not registered. So, not for this. So, we're going to go uh, Modric, Cruz, Cruz with the hat trick uh, in that area. Ron Militao's back. Greenwood, Jovic up front. Gareth Bale on the left side. Hazard is still out. Um, 88%. Unregistered. Vucevic. I'm going to bring Vasquez to the bench. Um, he's a mid-center. If I move him there, he doesn't have good finishing, but he does have good defense. Cruz does not have good defense. Modric has, yeah, his finishing's not great. His passing is better. I believe, well... Yeah, I can't take Modric off the field. But boy, I hate not having Vuvecic on there, man. What a what a player. Gee whiz. I mean, a 6.9 is like his worst game. Nine appearances, no goals. Last five matches. Average rating, 7.1. Average rating, 7.5. Oh, God. Six, seven, six, nine, six, seven. I got to go with Modric because that's why I wanted to be at Real Madrid was for him, right? Okay, let's go. I really feel I'm a little nervous about switching to that 4-4-2 
because I did for the last match, but that was just a one-off, really just to play those other players. So, fingers crossed. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's us. Yes. Yay. Mason Greenwood, his first goal of the season. I was like, wait, they wore blue last match, right? Yes. Yes. But that's us. Yay. Oh, look at that little side half volley. Good job, Greenwood. What a time to get your first goal. Let's give him some praise. All right. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Good clearance. Get it out. No, no. That's horrible. That's horrible. What a save. That was crap. Harry Kane, did you see he just did that little slide that we talked about last uh, last episode? That I think that's a new animation. Uh, that episode is going up tomorrow look at that oh i think that i th think that's a new animation oh my goodness that's not good um let's give a shout get creative gareth bale picks up a yellow so we've got it's champions league i don't know exactly what the champions league rules are Oh, there it is. A drop-off. Yes! Tony Cruz. Oh, he's on fire from that midfield position. Hat trick last match and a goal here. 11th of the season. Brilliant, brilliant run. I'm liking that. That's giving me an idea for another tactic. Uh, Harry Kane over the freaking top. Oh, worldy save by Coutois. Oh, my God. So we're up 3-1, and we have two away goals. So they've got to beat us 4-3, I think, if away goals mean anything at all. Which, in Brazil, we found out last episode, they don't. Oh, that was close. Oh, that could have been, that could have been nerve-wracking. Oh, there's a nice run. Greenwood! Oh, that was a nice touch on the ball. Almost slid it past the keeper. Almost slid it past the keeper. All right, halftime. 2-1 advantage. 3-1 on aggregate. All right, yes. Excellent efforts. Gareth Bale sitting on a yellow. Play it calm. All right, come on, boys. Let's give them some praise. Fired up. Fired up. All right, let's go ahead and sub off. I really hate getting Gareth off, but let's see. Uh, Rodrigo. Yeah, I think we'll put Rodrigo out there for Gareth. What I'm contemplating is maybe moving this, using this as uh, like our favored tactic. And then if we need to go defensive, we could go to a 4-1-4-1 and drop one of the two strikers up top into a defensive mid position. Do I want to do that? Greenwood's playing a 7-2, very nice. I think we're playing well right now, so I don't want to really mess with that too much. In fact, I'm going to hold off on that second sub. A lot of times I just do two subs just to, you know, rotate players and whatnot. But I think I just kind of want to. Oh, that was not good. All right. Good job getting back to the ball. Cruz. Nice ball, James he missed twice all right we got the pressure on Modric 
All right, Veron picks it up back into the box. I don't know what that was. Greenwood brings it out to the corner. Rodrigo. A uh, good run by Veron to get control of the ball and bring it back into the attacking end. Sweet. All right, come on. Let's give him some more praise. Oh, hello. Rose has got to get sent off for that, huh? Oh, they called advantage, I guess. Rodrigo cuts it inside. A little heel kick to Mindy. Uh, I think he may have been offsides. I don't know. Yep. Damn. Offsides. Ugh. Oh, the, the official tried to steal the ball for us. Uh, Tottenham will protest the game over that. Uh, look at the space out there. All right, headed on. All right, let's go into tactics. I'm going to bring... All right, he's still doing well. Greenwood's playing well. So I'm going to keep Greenwood in the game. I'm going to bring Jovic back here. And then we are going to bring on Vuvecic. All right. And... Mindy for Carvajal. All right. See us home, boys. I'm always worried I make these tactical changes like this too soon because, like, it hasn't taken effect yet, right? So we haven't dropped into that 4141 yet. All right, Ramos. Look at the skill by the captain. Over the top. Greenwood. Yes! Get in there. Second of the season. Two big goals for his first two scores for Real Madrid. And that should seal it. That should seal it. Yep, let's go to the 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Alder Wielder, I don't know. That's a that's a weird name is what that is. 20 to 8. That was a lot more lopsided than the first match. I may have just picked up on my new tactic, boys. We'll see. We'll see. Excellent efforts. Couple of people playing well up into the eights. Including the young Greenwood. Maybe finding his footing finally. All right, we pick up the uh, win. Rodrigo's out a couple of days. All right, $12 million. Greenwood finally scores 15 hours. And yes, you are superb in front of goal. Maybe that'll find his confidence. And maybe with him and uh, Jovic up top. So that's two matches in a row we've scored four goals out of that 4-4-2 where we've only been getting one goal most of the time. We've, you know, we've got matches, but two goals, I don't know. Maybe we continue that going. Uh, so we'll play either International Milano or Man City in the semifinals. So let's come back for that. Uh, we'll have Ibar uh, and Real Hispalis before we get there. And, boy, that Atletico Madrid is going to be a huge match. I don't think we'll be able to catch them. I, I just don't see it. And there's no shot at catching Barca. They're 13 up on us. Just the one loss. We've had four. That's disappointing. But it is what it is. A uh, lot of pressure playing with these big clubs. Uh, I think the biggest club I've played with to date is Leeds. Um and I would say leads in the, even though that's the second tier of 
English football. I think that's higher than, you know, the Arita Vise. Possibly not. Uh, the Arita Vise might be up because I did play with an Arita Vise team years ago, a couple of year, years ago. And... Hmm. I'm trying to think. They've got to be higher than the Brazilian first division. And they've got to be higher than the Swedish first division when we were there with Hammerby. So, yeah, I, I don't. No, 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 no. I did. Pl I played with Villarreal. We said that. I played with Villarreal in the Spanish first division. So that would be the highest club. But they aren't one of the they're not like one of the big clubs like Real Madrid or Barca. So I, I would think this is the this is definitely the highest level club I've ever played with. So the pressure, I mean, I can tell you there's a lot more pressure just even losing four matches where, you know, I could lose four, four to ten in a season and still win the league. Not a big deal at a lower level. So um, but certainly more than at Leeds, uh, even trying to get up into the premier. So anyway, my opinion, uh, really great episode. We win the Tom T Derby. Tom, good showing by Tottenham. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to play around with this 442 and the 4141. Uh, in fact, I may play I may play the 4141 outright maybe against Ibar, they're the highest rated team. And I may play it both matches just to see how it goes and then I've got a better idea going into the semifinals. But guys, hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're new and we will see you in the semifinals next episode. Have a good one. Bye.